In this tutorial, uh, we will look at a question as to what happens when we apply some force on solid foods. How do they deform? How do they fracture? Or how do they break into smaller pieces? We know that uh, when we eat foods, we chew foods, in other words, breaking down the solid foods into smaller pieces, and also foods break down further in the stomach. So we will consider a solid food in the form of a rectangular prism. Uh, so a three-dimensional representation here as shown. Uh, so the height of this uh, solid is uh, L, and the area on the top and bottom faces is uh, A, and we apply force from both sides. Uh, the solid material deforms, and the new dimension then, where the height is uh, reduced, is L minus delta L. So in this case, we are applying force only along one axis, so we call this uniaxial compression. And the height decreases to L minus delta L. Delta L is the deformation that took place when we applied force to this solid prism. We can also apply force in a tangential manner. In this case, the bottom face of the prism is attached, so it doesn't move. So because of the application of this shear force on the top, uh, the side face uh, gets deflected by angle theta, and uh, the deformation then uh, is delta L. We can also take a solid prism and apply force from all sides of that prism. And if we do that, uh, the entire uh, solid decreases in size. And we call this bulk compression. Another uh, situation is where we uh, take a solid material, uh, let's say in a cylindrical shape, and if we apply force on both top and bottom faces, in other words, we are pulling it apart, so we are subjecting this uh, material to tension, then the length L increases by the amount that uh, it deforms. So the length will increase to L plus delta L. So in this uh, tutorial, we have looked at force and deformation. Now, in the following tutorials, uh, we will look at other terms that are important as we describe the behavior of a solid material when subjected to a force.